Okay. I need an explainer. Dude, what is going on? We have Larry June on the show. I'm just trying to make some fresh squeezed orange juice for all us all to drink. You didn't think there was a better way to do this? Like a tool? Here we go. Fresh squeezed orange juice. We got my boy, Mr. June, on the show. What are you doing? Dude, I'm making fresh squeezed orange juice. Are you crazy? You don't even have gloves on. That's, you don't want you don't to drink this? Like... Look at your bracelet. What would Jesus do? Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Oh, Trinidad James. And we have with us here today, Larry June. He is a rapper, oh. a juice man. Highly requested. Guy who's been in sneakers pretty much for as long as he's been on this earth. Yes, yes, sir. Larry, how are you? I'm doing good, doing numbers and shit. You know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. Of course. We are and so you happy got the, to have you. And you got here. the pinky out, too, while drinking <laughs> the water. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Top notch, you know what I'm saying? They done let the upper class, class, you know, know what I'm saying? Drinking a little upper class, little glass of water, nothing too crazy, very peaceful. <laughs> Good job, water. We're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everyone has on feet. So, Wealthy, what are you wearing? Straight from Germany. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Got the 43 Einhalb Adidas ZX 1000. Straight from the black culture. I think this season I'm doing all black designers or black owned sneakers. So I'm gonna start with my brother, James Whitner and the strawberry milk free lunch, mid cut dunks, me you know with the dad socks, unreleased color coming soon, complex con. Come to the dad plaza. You know, I got these little Salamans on. Hey. <laughs> match, match the, uh, the sweater, I mean the, uh, the vest. Very last minute, first period. I said, Flipping fuck it. Salamander. Doing number, very comfortable. You know, I can go hiking in these, you know what I mean? Get Where a green juice. You know, yeah, something slight, nothing too crazy, but uh, that's my first time having these, but uh, it matched clean with the, the, you feel me, with the buzz down, so good job, Salamander. Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, I know you've bought a lot of sneakers throughout your life, but what's your most regrettable sneaker purchase? I bought these uh, snakeskin Giuseppe's. Ooh, <laughs> Giuseppe's every low, time. Low top with the blue. What was wrong with them? You know, it just really, it just it had a zipper on it and shit. Is that is that when you were? <laughs> I just zipper. Is that is, zipper is that when you were taking out the trash and designer sneakers? Man, you know, I was actually in Vegas. I went to the um, I got a little table at the club on some random shit. You know, I just wanted to feel feel real expensive that night. You know what I'm saying? Relatable. So I said, fuck it. Let me go ahead and take me to the. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Give me some of the you feel me's. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I got the Giuseppe's and um. I put them on and my, my pinky toe was doing numbers. And my shit was on, <laughs> my shit was on swole mode. Yee-hee. You know what I'm saying? Up. Yeah. yeah, numbers. Listen, I'm doing Concepts Mephisto Match. This is kind of a different type of a wave for me. It's sort of an old man sneaker. You might see me just, yeah. just walking around in these, not being too athletic. Them nice. Thank you. I like those. Thank like you. Those. Oranges and apples, right? Mm -hmm. Hey. Oranges and apples. Hey. Very organic. A little mixture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is this leak. Apparently, Supreme is doing a Nike Shocks collaboration next year, 2022. I'm withholding my judgment until I see the real thing. We're just dealing with mock-ups here. I know the Shocks is kind of a contentious model. Wealthy, you're not a fan. Larry June, you are a fan of the Shocks, right? Yes, I am. Do they really give you the boing? I love the Shocks, man. Yeah. You can put them on some sweatpants, you know. I, mean, I like the OG ones. I've never seen them ones. I like them, man. They real cool, but I, I got... Couple female friends that don't like them. They say, We should gonna fly out this motherfucker or some shit. <laughs> out so, this wait, thing. The, the ladies aren't a fan of the Shocks? I mean, I, I, you know, a couple of mine do, you know what I mean? But um, I know one that don't really care for the Shocks like that, you know what I mean? But I like them. I think it's some old school <laughs> Doughboy 90 shit. Yeah. You know, I grew up in the, uh, in the Doughboy yeah. area, you know what I'm saying? Watching all the Red Show Jordans come out, you know what I mean? You know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Watching all them shoes come out. You know, I see the OGs wearing the, the white tee, you know what I'm saying? Blue jeans, Nike shocks, Jordans, Air Max, you know what I mean? So I kind of I kind of grew up seeing that, so I gravitate towards those shoes, but I fuck with the shocks. Never seen them ones yet, but good job, Supreme. <laughs> I'm tired of a $500 million, multi-million dollar company talking about leaks. It's not a goddamn leak. Y'all put it out there so <laughs> motherfuckers can see it. We're not stupid, man. You want people conspiracy to see conspiracy the theory? They wanted people to see the shoe. Bush did 9-11? They want people to see the shoe so they can be like, oh, this is ugly, this is trash, this is da-da-da-da-da. So, so we can... talk about it on the show. Come on, man, I'm not trying to hear that. It's not no goddamn leak. Nobody's <laughs> leaking Supreme. 
What, how could nobody I, don't I leak can't Beyonce? Ride with I don't know, nobody man. leak Jay Z. I, I, yeah. When you're rich, you don't get leaked. You do things on purpose. I don't yeah. know, man. Okay? <laughs> Stop playing with me, that fake ass <laughs> shit. Next bit of sneaker news, something that <laughs> may or may not have <gasps> been leaked officially from Nike, but we've seen Drake. I wish we could keep hotline these. bling right now. A, mil a million <laughs> times, you got the official images of the Drake Nocta Nike Hot Stepper. Hot Stepper. Some people think it looks like a Fila or a K-Swiss. Larry, are you feeling these? I like them. They're cool, they look retro, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can put them on with some, you know, a little bit of anything. Not a bad sneaker to me. It's a bad sneaker to me. I think yeah. this is a step in the wrong direction. Drake should have spent some more time on Nike campus. Let me see. <laughs> I'm I mean, telling you right now. It can do numbers, though. The you white girls mean? is going to be outside <laughs> next year. Indeed. The on, white man. girls going to be out. White girls, Asian girls going to be outside in a neutral outfit in these shoes. Watch this. In summer 2020. I got a question. Is that is that the first the first one? Oh, that's it. This is the first number one. That, that was never okay. That's the first one. It's, I think it's cool for a first one. It's, it's uh, you know, it got the classic Nike feel to it. You don't think this looks like a nurse shoe? They don't let the white girls in the dough with these. I mean, right shit, it's these look like up. nurse shoes too. Then it's going up. Do you give, do you give, Watch this. Do you give Drake a little bit more credit for doing an original silhouette instead of just like coloring up a retro shoe? Me personally, yeah. Yeah. I think it takes more effort. In teach the UK, teach it's going to do well, though, well, T. Yeah. I personally, in the UK, this, like, okay, all jokes aside. You're doing all the research and the stats on this. Right? <laughs> I'm saying, he's doing he's numbers. Doing, because, look, I'm going to tell you this. The real thing about it is that Trinidad James not wearing that. Me, personally, this foot, this hot foot mine, this not hot stepper in. foot of mine, yeah. I'm not stepping not Now, if he gave it to me, I'll, I'll, I'll put an outfit together for him. You're not going to support Drake a black design sneaker? No, 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 no. <laughs> if he gave me the shoe, I would put an outfit together, put it on the ground, Hot stepper, caption, out of there. I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money because, you know, I work for mines to buy, <laughs> to buy that. But I will tell you that it's going to do well for the number one reason is Drake. Let's put that at the top of the You're You're constantly hot stepper, right? Come on now. My brother, Mr. June, I want to get into your sneaker history. And what is the first memory of sneakers for you that made you feel like, you know, this is when sneakers really mattered to me, my brother. When I was a kid, I went to uh, the Space Jam. Okay. Jordan, Jordan 11. Great way to and, start. Uh, I had a homie, my little, like my age and shit, was in, um, I was actually living in Riverdale. Woo! I was South a, side. I was, yeah, South side, I was, uh, I was in Youngin. Come on. And um, he had them on, he was like a teenager. I'm probably like, you know, like. Pre-teen. Like, Pre-teen, yeah. you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I was like, I like them shoes, let me get them. What, what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Let's trade some shoes, just saying like, wait right here. I'm gonna run across these woods. You know, oh. like, you know, in the, uh, in the South Side, you can cross yeah. neighborhoods by just running <laughs> exactly. through the woods okay. and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So running be, from the Red Dogs he to, will exactly. the woods to get yeah, away from yeah. the police. So he's like, wait right here, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bring you these shoes. I waited there for two hours. Man, the sun went down. <laughs> didn't happen. Didn't get them. You know Wait, did you get? Did you give him the money? I didn't give him nothing. He, okay. just, he just like, you know, a teenager. So, you know, that's a big homie. He he like, hey, don't worry. I got you. I'm gonna bring you these. You can have these, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he, we playing, uh, throw them up, bust them up. He yeah. wearing them. I don't give a fuck how dirty he is. I, I need it though. I need to do numbers. But, uh, but you know, it's crazy. When I, when I was able to get them, I just, I don't wear them. Mm. But when I was a kid, I liked them a lot. Of course. You know what I mean? That patent leather just. Dancing, nice. doing numbers, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was yes, fucking Lord. with it heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my only memory I can think about with them shoes. Did, did you feel like at all going back and forth from San Francisco to Atlanta that it changed your sneaker habits or was like one parent getting you more sneakers than the other? Like, was there a difference in the styles, you know what I mean? In Frisco, it was more like a, um, the retro, like, yeah. the, you know what I mean, a retro Jordan. Don't get me wrong, and same in the ATL too. But at the same time, he was wearing the feelers with the, the slouch socks and, um, mm -hmm. Air Force One, the low, mm -hmm. the mid tops, and you know what I mean, all that shit that was heavy out there. And, uh, Our classics. Sacconi, you said remember, no, Sacconi was popping. <laughs> no, I remember on, Sacconi. You know, I remember Sacconi, baby. When you went back and forth, like when you got the shoes from Atlanta and then brought them to San Francisco, did people look at you crazy for wearing something different? Or I didn't really get too many like feelers, feelers and shit yeah. and, and shit like that. But um, you know, my kind mom, we, guy? We, we all from the, my mom from yeah. from San Francisco, my dad is, and uh, and they kind of they bought my shoes and shit, so. Yeah. I kind of just had the, the same, you know, same kind of shoes my whole life. Larry, I know being a hustler has been a big part of your life, big part of your personality, big part of your mentality. Did you ever have to do hustles to get sneakers? Do you remember running anything like that? Man, I was hustling my whole life. You know, I was washing cars, raking leaves, you know what I'm saying? Mowing lines, got to school selling candy. So yeah, I did all kind of shit to, to get my sneakers, but for the most part, moms kept me fresh. It might not have been a sandwich in there, but I, I did have them Jordans on, you know what I mean? <laughs>
But speaking of hustling for sneakers, have you ever resold sneakers yourself? Uh, I never really sold sneakers. Yeah, I'm not good at selling shoes and stuff, but um, I sold a lot of other things. You, you guys know. were at the Dunk Exchange selling some gear back right. in like 2013. Yep, right? I was selling. Um, how you know that? <laughs> Cop, my that's Ross. crazy. Calm down now. That's crazy. You raw. I was actually selling T-shirts, and I, I, was, I was going to the Dunk Exchange, and I was actually paying the Dunk Exchange to perform. Love that. Yeah, hey, I was paying like $500, and we get a booth, and they let me do a couple songs, and I sell the um, T-shirts. Make the it, money back. Yep, and I, it is what I'm, it is. You shopping in there, too? I didn't do any shopping in there, man. Yeah. I was I was going there to, to, um, to give out my CDs, and the Dunk Exchange, that's, that's um, a good thing you brought that up. That's like the first time I had like a, a real show. Mm. Cause I, I paid to do the one in Vegas and I, um, I was performing. I was like, ooh, yes. they kind of like me a little bit. So I <laughs> kept paying. Pay <laughs> <laughs> to play. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. But it was practice for me. You know, I was getting money yeah, other man. other ways. And um, I was selling t-shirts. I, I sell t-shirts to this day. I see, you know what I'm saying? That I can sell. Go, zoop, go, zoop, he got, go get organic. the merch, baby. It's Take all it. organic. You know, it's amazing. Mid note organic. Sun slight. <laughs> Sock it to me. Hey, Woo. hey, hey. <laughs> My brother, Mr. Junior, you've made a statement before that Jordans are very uncomfortable. I don't know if you still feel that way. Yeah. Um, which one? Which one? I say that. We do like our 20, research. 20, we do our homework. <laughs> over. Like 2015. <laughs> we're pulling out all the tweets. Pulling out a long, long stuff ago. But what, what Jordan was this? That's what I was going to ask asking. you. Yeah, that's what, we that's to what I was going to ask you. What Jordan made you feel like, man? Jordan's uncomfortable for, to make you actually say that. Maybe it was the 13. Possible. Small maybe toe box. 13. Yeah, small toe box, and maybe it was the. Um, I had some fours on last night. It's always, I don't know if my foot flat or some shit, but it's always, you know what I'm saying, the, the you feel me right on here? Right on top yeah. of it, right, right here. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Numbers. So maybe I was having an uncomfortable um, evening that day, you know what I'm saying, with my shoe. He's uncomfortable. You also said at one point that you will never wear Yeezys. Do you still feel that way? Oh, I never had none. You never, for, never wanted them? I've never had for Kanye in my to life. send them over? <laughs> I ain't waiting on nothing. <laughs> it but it's love, though. <laughs> Super facts. But even the Nike Air Yeezy, the first one? I love Kanye West as an artist. Yeah. And, I'm, and in fashion since, I just never, yeah. I never bought a Yeezy before. Fair enough. Sneakers that you have had, though, are your own sneakers. Yeah. The collaboration yeah. with Lakai. Yeah. You had yeah. two pairs. How did that happen? I went to Tokyo with some um, with some good friends from FTC. It's a, skate, a skateboard yeah, yeah. company. Mm -hmm. And um, Lakai seen me with them. Yeah. Reached out to my people at FTC. We talked about it. And it was history after that. Good job, Lakai. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, the Orange Bus Daniels, you know what I'm saying? Sun Slide. Did you talk to like Mike Carroll or any of those guys there? Do you remember that or no? Uh, nope. He's bringing out the skateboard, you know. <laughs> he, you know? He's got to I mean, check he, your skateboard he owns credentials. The company. <laughs> I just thought like maybe he'd hit you up. But. Yeah. Kick I flip, probably did over email. Soon. Dad socks is my thing, but you're a real dad. Yeah, yeah. How much do you focus on getting sneakers for your son or making sure that he's in the right gear? When he was younger, mm -hmm. I was on it because it was like something. In my head, like he need to have all the shoes. Right. Like need, how your parents treated you. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I was on it. Yeah. Now he's he ten years old now, so I let him do his thing. He pick his shoes. I might not like them. I might I might like them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I let him do him. But as of now, I just let him be a kid and let him pick whatever shoes he like. And it's a new world. Hey, Amen. What's it's he, a whole what's he new getting? world. He like Vans and shit. He like you know Dunks and you know just the regular shit. You know what I mean? Right. But some shoes I get from he wouldn't he wouldn't care for these he wouldn't like right. um, which ones the Solomon, Solomon. These ones? yeah he probably wouldn't wear these I, I got him some press toes not too long ago he didn't like how they fit and shit so I let you know let let the kids grow up let them do them and let them have their own style yeah the new kids now they got the apps they got the uh, right. the machinery you know, of course the shit, you know what I mean <laughs> yeah so um, numbers he just come with a a checkout box, like, oh, just do the. <laughs> Look, I want see, this, I made it easy for you. Yeah, just make, put I it don't got to go. It was time for school shopping. He literally. Right here, just probably just press the button. We got there right before school, and uh, we didn't even touch them all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new game, man. Hey, man. So I, I, I believe in letting people have their own style, you know, especially the kids and uh, that's the kids. coming up because you know, to us, a lot of shit might be different. It might be uh, people say weird or, or whatever. Or, like you, like a, a real creative person, and, and I can't tell him what I can't. He'll see me and be like, uh, that's weak. Uh, He's you know, clowning I, on your gear. Yeah, he clown my gear all the time. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, he, he he told me um yeah, I give him like all my merch you know what I'm saying all my stuff and um he told me like hey I'm tired of wearing your merch <laughs> <laughs> I gotta love that yeah. you know it is what it is you know you gotta let the, let youth, the kids man. be them and Damn. let them um power elevate. to the kids power to the kids and the, the the new generation man it's a, it's a uh, crazy time but um it's some new geniuses on the way Larry one other sneaker thing I wanted to talk to you about. You said at one point that cleaning sneakers was a big hobby of yours. Uh huh. Are you still into that? And do you have any tips? <laughs> Man, for sure. I keep it real simple when it comes to cleaning my sneakers. I'll take a little rag, 
put a little water, maybe a little dish soap on there, and I slightly just do yee hee. I've been doing that for years, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? I keep them clean. I don't really clean shoes that much no more because I got so many. Yeah. That they, they don't really get dirty like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. when I was a young and I'd be every day, like, I used to put a plastic afterwards. bag on my shoes before. If it's raining, yeah. toss the trash bags on my nigga, tie them up, <laughs> get to the bus stop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get to school, <sighs> brand new ski. Numbers. Yeah, <laughs> you never you never got worried like you know when you have a pair of suede sneakers and you're like really hesitant to try and clean that oh, suede. Oh for sure. You gotta be careful with that. For sure. I think I think you gotta slightly like rub that with a tiny bit of water and you gotta just uh, uh, like Yee-hee. you know what I'm saying. Yee hee. Yee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. Like, you crazy. I know exactly you know, what you're saying. You got the eraser saying. out and like kind of like yeah. hit, hit it. I fucked up plenty of shoes trying to clean them with. Oh the, yeah, man. I hate tell it. Tell me about it. Shout out to Jason Mark. Especially when you got like a gray suede or some shit. Yeah. One, oh, or, or like a, a light suede. One so, step. Game over. I was in Vegas a few months ago. Just went to the spa and got some dinner and shit. You know, pandemic. We decided to go step out, go do, go to the tile, get some, some dinner. So right. let me let me get fresh. I go grab some lamb. You know, the new style. Yeah, kind of like yeah, the Adidas, the, the, the Adidas yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. I feel like some casual, a casual shoe. Come on. Man, before I even get out the plate, you know, I put them on instantly. I'm, I'm leaving the, the encore, yeah. put them on. I stepped on my shoe myself, <laughs> on my own foot. How does that oh, work? I have no get your footwork that. right. And then I, then I got a whole <laughs> gash right here, and I'm like, what? The, I just spent 800 yeah. bucks. And it's over. Them motherfuckers been sitting in my uh, in my little cabin like a mannequin, man. I ain't touched them motherfuckers since, but it's love. I still love the shoe. I was fucking with Lambin since um, 2012. Mm. Since they had the, the um, patent leather tip. Every okay. Day, every the reminded me of the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I respect that. My brother, Mr. June. You have a new project out with the great brother Cardo got wangs mm-hmm. into the late nights, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely. Great project, great project. I, I enjoy it myself personally. Mm-hmm. Cardo is a big sneaker guy. He's a yeah, big yeah. sneaker guy. Cardo, come on Huge. the show. I know you're not big on competition, but was there any type of like, I got to have my outfit together, the competition in the studio when y'all was making this project? Man, no, you know what? I, I just put anything on. I feel at that time, man. I, I don't even know. I don't know about none of the hype shoes. I don't mm-hmm. know. He was showing me some shoes when we shooting a video. Don't try it like these are. Chrome hard dunks. I never even knew that even existed. You right. know what I'm saying? So I kind of like just stick to the shoes that I kind of know. Got it. And uh, so you're into it, but you don't necessarily see every. I'm not new really. Release. Yeah, I'm I not see really, your IG, and you're like, you got the sneakers. I got the sneakers, but people will text me about like, hey, you want these? And I'm like, yeah, I will take those. You're like, you're more into the classics. Yeah, and whatnot, right? I like, like the classy, like the 2003s and the, the 90s and all that shit. Like, because that's kind of shit I always knew. Right. Up tempo shit. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Just waiting, yeah, up tempos and shit. You know what I mean? The, uh, OG and Air Max 94s and all that shit. I still, I like all you, man. Put me on some shit, man. Oh, oh, we're, shit. we're about to. Got you. I'm not against no sneaker. I just haven't bought a Yeezy and shit. You know what I mean? I yeah. haven't, I haven't bought a Chrome Hard Dunk or nothing like that. I just figured, because, you know, you mentioned Cardo, but, like, you know, you've made music, you know, with people like Dom, Kennedy, yeah, yep. and uh, Chuck Family. English. Yep, and, Chuck. And, all, the, all them fucking shoes. Yep. So I just figured that I didn't know if you guys had, like, a lot of conversations about shoes with all those guys. Man, I've not- never talked about shoes. Me and Currency talk about uh, cars. He called me and, hey, what you driving today? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same with Dom. He called me talking about the, you know, we talk about cars and shit and, um, it never was shoes, man. But, you know, I, I feel like they're the same way. They just kind of got the classic shoes and shit. I never really seen them in no hype, hyped up shoes or nothing yeah. like that. Hey, Larry, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week, as yeah. decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. And this week it is me, as it often is. Right Pun intended? Here. How was this day? <laughs> is this his last name? Day? Daniel Day? I love that. Yeah? I love that. See what I'm doing? Look at it. Poor predictable me once again. So I have to take off my shoes and I think we have some horrendous looking. What is this? What is this you're about to pass? Oh me? my God. Uh, <laughs> XD <laughs> so. Like Ooh. Super there, anime you, style. Can you freak those? <laughs> Ooh, these different. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> what does it say on the side, yo? What are those? The huge bottoms? <laughs> 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 so crazy. About to go hiking in Neo Tokyo with these on. These cool. What does it say? No Ito <laughs> Jobek? <laughs> No church in the wild. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What brand is that? That's a uh, uh, new shit? Ocid Dicks. That's, that's, some, uh, mm-hmm. that's some bodega shit. Bodega. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so my brother, we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Mm-hmm. Drip meaning that it looks good, flip meaning that you resell it, and skip meaning that you don't rock with it at all. Our first sneaker in Drip, Flip, or Skip is going to be 
the Nike Air Force One Mid Jewel NYC Edition. I'm going to start off the top here so you know where I stand. If you got a problem with it, you know what you can do. This is a big drip. You're big make, drip. You're going to recreate the Jay-Z photo in these? I got to. I need them right now. Right now. Like, if somebody yeah. in New York, places that be having shoes like this early, if you got these right now, 10 and a half or 11, I got $600 for you. 600 yeah. I got $600. No, no, no. Look, we, $600. we can get in there lower. I got 300 right now. Thank too. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he need this shit instantly. <laughs> I, need, I need it fast, fast. Uh, Welty, talk, talk to me, brother. Drift flip or skip? These are good, but I'm going to say flip because I feel like my good friend PG is going to try to force me to try and buy him a pair. Force? Pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Force. Yeah, and I'm going to sell them to him. <laughs> PG, come on the show. Brandon Dunn, drip flip or skip? Uh, I don't like the mids. I don't like the jewels. I don't Mid isn't these. selling for you? I'm skipping. You and Abdul, man. You and my brother Abdul, man. Shout out to Abdul. That's a classic colorway. Oh, that's that's like, you're not wrong about that. That's actually one of the first colorways Air Force One has made. Not that colorway, not the gray yeah. and white. You know, I think that first one was the, the white with the uh, white with the, the gray silver, check. Yeah. white with the gray check. Yeah. I like I like that color uh, colorway a lot. Yee hee! Come on, <laughs> shoe number two. We have our Winterize Air Jordan 14. Uh, you know what? I'll start with you, Larry. How you feel about these? No, I'm good. Skip, okay. Skip, skip. I wouldn't wear those. Brendan? Yeah, I don't need like a winterized sneaker. When the winter comes, I'm wearing boots, not sneakers. Yeah, you know, I'm just like, gonna go buy a boot. Okay. I was never really a huge fan on the 14. Yeah, I don't need them. Yeah. Uh, Welsey, talk to me. And you can't wear these in June, right? <laughs> so. He was saving that Good one. job, Welsey. Uh -huh. like it. Good job, Welsey. He was saving that one. <laughs> <laughs> skip. I love this colorway, but I am going to skip this shoe because um, I've never purchased um, a winterized sneaker. I've got some gifted to me, and I think a winterized Spizike was a sneaker that I just enjoyed for some reason. Yeah. I was like, it was kind of cool, but I only wore it once. The green and the red one? Something like that. Yeah, something I got like those. That. I like them. You know, um, but this is a really cool colorway for a winterized Jordan. Like for a person, for that older cat who's a lifestyle Jordan type of wearer, in the fall, I feel like I'm gonna see this shoe in New York somewhere. Um, <laughs> uh, last in shoes, Eames times uh, Reebok Club C. Brandon, I'll start with you. It is October. My good friend Leo did make this project happen. I know it's a dream come true for him, so I'm gonna say it's a drip. Mr. June? I go with drip too. I like those. It's real classic. You know, I can put that on with something. You got any you Eames know? chairs? You know I do. Herman Miller? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's what that's from? Yeah, yeah. it's a collaboration Ooh, with Eames. Ooh, that's yeah. drip for sure. I fuck with Herman Miller. I got a custom lime green one in the living room. Ooh. I don't own any Eames chairs. I'd feel like a poser wearing these. So? Skip. I need those, man. I didn't even, I didn't even see that. That's nice. Very clean collab. I, I feel I don't own any club C's, but I really have a lot of respect for the shoe because it takes me back to kind of what Mr. June was saying with like, you know, just those classic dope boy sneakers that we grew up with. This is me growing up in the South. Mm -hmm. This might not have been the style that we were rocking, but exactly. the East Coast, when you looked at like paid, paid in full and this sneaker just kind of gives me that like East Coast dope boy feel. Do you have any Eames I don't have only, only <laughs> Eames. I don't own any Eames. But this, uh, this is a very clean shoe. This is a drip. Shout out to your homeboy who designed this shoe. Hey, Leo. I think it's dope that, um, that they made a shoe. Yeah, they got a couple of them. I think that's super dope. Friends and family. I never, I see, I never knew about that. <laughs> super clean. Larry, we also do outfits on this segment. And I don't think there's any better outfits in the whole of America mm -hmm. to do other than Larry June outfits. Yeah, yeah. Outfit number one. Talk to me. <laughs> yes, wow. Lord. See the shoes? Come yeah. on. That's this when I history. finally got them. Come on. This. That's when I finally got Let's them. Go. You know Let's go. Let's talk about, about stepping. Talk about hot stepping. How old are you was, right here? Man, I think I was around. That was when I was waiting in the um In the, in the in woods. The, yeah. woods. <laughs> I, think, I, I waited think, in the woods four months for this outfit. Yeah, moms knew I wanted those for a minute, so I ended up getting them. I, she surprised me with them. And I think they was hella big, but I, I they made look, them They work. look a little... Yeah, uh, so I, think, to, I think everything was big. Yeah, you know what went to them? Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to sock it to you. Put a couple yeah. extra pairs uh, of socks on there, you know, to make them fit. Man, that that was a... Man, I don't know what I was thinking about. I know that was a rock wear fit, I think. <laughs> rock Nation, baby. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what I was thinking that day, man. But I got the same hat I got on today, you know. Um, <laughs> Some things just never change. Some shit just never change. That's a great picture. Drip flip or skip? I must ask. I'm dripping for sure. Come on, they, they dressing like that right now. You know Come what I mean? on now. That's back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go. Brendan Dunn. Yeah, that's a drip. The, the journey he went through to get these shoes, yeah. the, the dude left them out in the wilderness. When I got them, I felt just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Come you know on now. A thousand you know, words, baby. Wasn't even, um, big back then. You know? I need this one. Give me this. Pull it. Doop. 
got him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, Full circle moment. You had to like wait in the woods to get the shoes. Now yeah. you're wearing sneakers that you can wear in the woods. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> you're ready to go right back into the woods. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. like you're going on the next journey to uh -huh. what you find in the woods. Um, and this stage of your life, this is a trip. Yeah, I mean, Thank you. pictures like these are the ones that always define of, that's a young pee in the making. Young <laughs> pee in the making. Uh, you know, that's a drip for me. Outfit number two, let Vam, vroom, vroom. <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. Talk to me. Up tempo and shit. That was just something to slide. I tossed that on out of nowhere. Okay. Nice little fresh white tee. Pro Club, OG Nikes, you know what I'm saying? Vintage uh, Florida hat. And okay. some Nike pants, man. That's that's just, that's classic Larry right there. Come on. Where are you on your way to? I was actually just moving my bike to the to the garage, actually. We just was relocating, took a little picture. Actually, we was already there. I just hopped on it to bend the corner real quick. That's why I didn't have a helmet on. Dripping. There it is. Well, drip. Yeah. I mean. It's 90s. very simple. Very 90s. <laughs> I mean, drip. Uh, Brendan Dunn. This is, you know what this is? This is motorbikes about to bring them out. I'm thinking Black Ducati. Uh -huh. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. You know? right. Actually, I'm going to call this a skip for safety reasons because okay. you didn't have the helmet on. So bad oh, job. Look, we, we can skip. We can skip. <laughs> You don't get much better than this. This is Silk the Shock of 99. Give me Silk the Shock of 1990. <laughs> <laughs> Go pull up on the young thing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? On the Ducati, this is a drip for me. Um, last but not least in outfits. <laughs> Very organic. Very organic. Is this the lettuce field? What is this? Man, I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> we, we, was like, we was actually taking a drive, shooting a video, and I said, boom, let's stop right here. Yeah, yeah. And there was a chair right there. We moved a chair. <laughs> actually, you know, that, that day I was kind of like rushing. You know what I mean? I tossed, I said, fuck it, we go toss on this midnight hoodie, nice little beanie, some shit. But you know, that's that's drip for me, you know what I mean? Something slight. It's like straight to Whole Foods yeah, right there. That's 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 him. Very organic. <laughs> Damn the nigga fresh. Good, skin, Good job, Larry. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brendan Dunn. You you know what I love about this? is the subtlety. Because if you guys remember the cool gray Jordan 3, the orange on there is called orange peel. That's the color of the orange, so it's all connected. Uh, you you, you put the whole fucking thing together. Okay, this I This is the whole kit and the caboodle. <laughs> the caboodle. Vroom. This is a drip. Thank you, bro. Welty. I'm I'm slightly disappointed it's not a, a orange orchard, but yeah, yeah. that aside, classic <laughs> shoes, classic <laughs> photo, drip. Oh, yeah, I mean, I see anything organic and I see Larry. I, I'm a simple man. Drip. <laughs> okay, drip. Let's get it. I'm dripping. Let's get it. Larry, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one from Not Applicable Provided saying, very cool to see you guys all in the same room again. During the lockdown last year, you guys were an integral part in keeping me sane. Peace to the FSR crew. Peace You're welcome to you. for that. James Olafson says, I want to collaborate on a shoe one day just so I can send the FSR crew a pair. Thank you. And you a pair for Larry to. too, please. Yeah. Please, please. What yes, size? Lord. 11. Okay. 10 and a half or 11. Just everybody wears Air, the same size. Air Force yeah. Ones, 10 and a half. Yes. You know what I'm he knows. Certain, yep. Some people right. don't know that you got to size down, and then they yep. end up with the goofy looking laces on them. Yep. You know what I mean? Tell them. Mm -hmm. Important equation. Drill Capone <laughs> Music says, I see new full size run. I click. Simple. Thank you for that, Drill. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I can dress very well. I'm turning that James. <laughs> Uncle Larry, numbers. <laughs> she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. FS Army, it's Dad here, Trinidad James. You know how much we love you, how much I love you. But if you really have true love for us, guys, this is season 11. This is 2021 going into 2022. We need you to subscribe and let people know we're back in studio. This is one of the best, if not the best, sneaker show in the entire world. You cannot find a show better than this show, so subscribe to it, goddammit. And... Download the Soul Collector app while you're at it. You just buy the best sneakers on the internet for the best price. Also, while we have you, drop us a comment. It's the least you can do. The least. <laughs>